Oh, hello, old friend. How nice to see you again. I'm sorry, was my break a minute too long for you? That's a shame. Anyway, it's time to go back to Grailbin. It is time to find Angela. Hasn't really done much. Like, her character is pretty much, because in the beginning, super cool, mysterious, secret, badass warrior person. But then after she revealed herself as actually we were on the same side the whole time, she hasn't really been she basically just said, go here to find the proof for this thing that I could just tell you, but I you wouldn't believe me. You gotta go see it for yourself. And then she got captured in the robot, so we saved her, and then she's stuck in yet another sadistic situation here. We gotta go get her out. And not very impressed with her character so far. I'm also not really impressed with, I didn't comment on it because I was too distracted by the mechanics of that fight, but the, the thug man, he really just like, died and then we never heard from him again. Like there wasn't even a big dramatic confrontation with him, also I need, I should probably equip this in place of the, uh, in place of this, where is, where, this I think? Yeah, head pneumatic, put that there. Probably gonna be more useful for this level than the therm. This receiver bot has a blaster attack. Press circle to shoot enemies. To exit the robot, press triangle. Snowbeast award. And also the reflections on this water are 
kind of dizzying, gotta be honest. So I, I wanted to hear what they had to say about it, and apparently he actually had three days to, like, the person who, the, the gist of it is that the person who was originally supposed to take his mother was not someone who they knew could get, could do something good, like, the term they use is get something over really well in three days. Hey, nice digs. Yeah, it's a little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet? Watch this. Mommy, where do protopets come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here, in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do protopets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protopet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, that'll shut them down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lube? Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. This will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? Well, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance no. at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. What Just mean, be careful. <laughs> What do you mean, orbital defenses? Right. Uh, anyway, yeah, apparently the guy who made this had three days to program the level before they had to use it. It also a focus testing group, also what was this? believe this or deserves the vitriol that it apparently received from people. And I especially don't think it deserves the Snow Beast Award over the goddamn robot ball. Like, this, the Snow Beast and the, the snake Leviathan things can be dealt with if you just use your weapons efficiently and effectively. But that robot, there is no, there is no way to make that a more efficient fight. You can't use a special weapon combo or special strategy to make his health go down faster. You just, you sit there for like 10 minutes unloading the turret into him again and again and again. I don't, I don't find any entertainment to be found. There's no, I, I don't get it. I do not get why, how the hell this level 
got the the Snow Beast Award or that. But whatever. Uh, so I guess this is the final planet, huh? This is it. Break into Megacorp headquarters. Let's go. be another goddamn ship section, I swear. Oh, also the ship sections fucking suck. They deserve every Snow Beast award that ever got handed out ever. Well, that's sure the final level I've ever seen one before. Welcome to Megacorp Factory Ratchet and Clank. It's where you will be broken. It is where I'm going to make one last check. Is there any other... What can I buy with what we currently have available to me that might be worthwhile? We have the mini rocket tube. I think we were considering that as a substitute for the shitty Visibomb gun. And then we're pretty much, we can't get any of the, the, the high tier stuff. So it's either spider, I, well, I don't care. Mini rocket, we're, it's, you know, let's just go. Let's just get the, the mini rocket tube. Let's do it. Get the mini rocket tube, get the Visibomb gun out of here, switch it with this. And yeah, that should be fine. I think I think we're good on our on our, on our tools. This our tools receiver the bot can hypnotize say. other robots. To hypnotize another robot, aim, then press circle. Why would you tell me this now when I already had to do that in the last level? Bit late on that one Bit late on the tutorial. Don't kill me. I am friends.
expect there's been some form of development for the commentary. But the same does not reach Most games do not have that kind of commentary from the developers, which is a shame. Of course, I guess not everyone is as interested in behind the scenes stuff as, as I am. But I love that. I love, I love hearing about that. Both games I like and I don't like. The games I like, I want to be fast to hear about. Obviously, I'm super good at I also love my friend. I'm going to make you about 90% of the games. Another, where's the, where's the button? Where's the button? Where, where, what am I doing here? Uh, so I'm taking over you. Maybe it's not a button. Undo my progress, did it? Oh, did it? Is the button still? I mean, the, well, the door's closed, so like, oh no, it's not. It looks close. It looks close to the perspective. Okay, the door's open, the, but the button wasn't closed. Yes, okay, good to know. Uh, what did that do? Did it open? The, oh, I guess I did open this. I was not. I was not. A, I did not know exactly what happened when I hit that button. Anyway, ammo. You know what? It's the final level. Let's go all out. Let's buy the lava gun. Why not? Just to try to show off as many of the new weapons as I can in the final episode of the of the LP, or at least what I think is going to be the final episode. Bomb glove, you're dead to me. We're getting up the, the lava gun. Lava gun's coming in here instead. I'll give you a try. Prove your worth to me, lava gun. You sound incredibly powerful. Let's hope it's not all. What? Eh. Oh. I mean, it just looks like I'm peeing on him. But, yeah, that gets the job done. Stay away from my fiery pee. But it doesn't look powerful. But like, what's actually being launched out of this gun does not look like a really like, annoying you, I guess. But if it hits, or when it hits, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That will indeed do it. And also, ammo. Oh, by the way, the, um, I also checked out the, the, the video of, of the developers playing through the... I forgot the name of the level. The one with the bridge and the big robot fight. They played that level, and when they did, they did the same thing I did, where you go back across the bridge and you play your ammo. Which is totally cheesy, but you know what? If the developers do it, I feel like I also have carte blanche to do it. It's like even the whole main game. I see our transparency is uh, back at it again, because I definitely, even though we were seeing that robot below, the like, through this glass, it not look like it was the glass, it was the most of the Which happened earlier in this game. Yeah, this thing is kind of awesome, considering its price. It's like really good. But not as good as, uh... Now I know I'm behind Okay, never mind. Are they, are they spawning again? Are they spawning again? I feel like they're in the show they turn in my uh... Yep, okay, that's fine. I hate it when games do that, they just spawn. Like, some areas will have enemies that keep coming, some doesn't find any money you have to kill. So you can figure out which one is which, and not waste ammo accordingly. Also, I guess now we need, uh, we need the thing back again, so let's get rid of hookshot for now and bring out the, or swing shot and bring out the dynamo. Here's this. Turn it around. I guess I'll just start with all the 
have them all moving and So that's the last game I ever have to do that. I don't know that I actually... I, I feel like I didn't need to... And of course, now we need to switch to the, the damn... The thing again. The, the swing shot. Swing shot, take me away. More tanks? What?
Continue point. Seems like a great place for a continue point. It's like an ex excellent, excellent place for you to put a continue point here, game. Why have you not done it? This one's fun. More of these. Less of the lines. Less of the the lines on the globe. That took a while for one to. Oh boy. I, oh, I, I don't know how I'm still alive. Damn it! Ah, I, I tried to time it so that it would, it would go in right as I flipped it. Ah, okay. So it takes a while for one of the things to, to go, or maybe it didn't, and I just got lucky that like the, the connect were already in the position they needed to be in. Okay, that's next. Now flip again. No. Nope. Yes. Let's do it and leave it. Leave it right there. Good. Perfect. Perfect grid. I'm gonna miss that in the next game. Assuming it isn't in the next game, but I probably Oh no, what is this? What is this? This looks bad. This looks like it could be very bad. No? Safe? Free ride? Free ride? I guess it's free ride. And well, that is a whole lot of you, my god. Makes sense for the public to say really just in all the This is it, the protobet duplication room. I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. Oh, did no you? No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. 
indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark! All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> B but Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizzwidget! <laughs> this really? is bad. All right, just what the f is going on? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one! Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens uh, Bradford, of Bogon, I to... am Captain okay. Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> flashlight of justice? <laughs> oh. As you know. A living menace called the Proto-Pet has been set loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro... Gadget I invented, I will end the protopet threat once and for all. That's my elixamorph. I invented. Oof. Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopet in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Does that elixir actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. I'm. I, it's. I. The, but. I, so it's a good thing I took a break there because. Something weird happened with the video, which means that the audio is going to be blended together into one track again, which is not going to be fun to edit or to watch. But it does give me the chance to talk about... Ah, uh, why did you think that was... A... I, I don't actually know what to say about it. Not in like, it's so, it's so bad I can't wrap my head around it kind of way. Just It's just... Why? It's, so I, the idea I get... Cause there was a line earlier where Angela was like, that Fizz Widget doesn't seem like the man I used to work for, which seems to, which would line up with the idea that Quark just came in and took over Fizz Widget and corrupted everything. But didn't we see, like, promotional videos and ads the whole time that predate Quark that clearly show that Megacorp is not, is fundamentally responsible for all the correct shitty stuff that's that's happening here it makes sense i guess but no it doesn't no it's it's not that it makes it's it do, it didn't come out of nowhere but also it did in that like there was like uh, uh, there's the like obviously that's the reason why they keep building up core because i mentioned in the previous episode that they're like they want to make sure you remember who Quark is. It's like, what happened to Quark? Whoa, where did he go? And then, of course, the Quark toy that you can buy. I don't I don't think it lines up with the, the events of the story as I've been presented up until this point. Whatever, let's just kill the giant thing and then we'll go home. Oh, actually, I guess first we need to do this. Kill, kill big pet man. Just mash. Oh, he's a, he's a me- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, he can do a roll. He can do a roll. He can do a roll. He does a roll. So I guess this is, this, I guess this is the final boss. We're in final boss land. 
feels like we're in final boss land. I, you know, the, the, the mini rockets were locking on to the, min, the mini things and not the big threat that I wanted to focus on. I don't want, I do not want to waste my ammo on the small little protopets. That's dumb. I need to save my ammo for the big boy. Big boy deserves big gun. Big gun for big boy. Wow, that's not doing anything to him. Also, I have no ammo for anything. Well, I mean, I, I guess ask and thou shalt receive. Not the gun I wanted ammo for, actually. That actually wasn't at all the gun that I wanted ammo for. Okay, let's let's deploy turrets. Next next time he exposes himself, let's deploy a bunch of turrets. And then I'll help start cleaning up all the all the things. That that running animation is goofy as hell. That is the goofiest running animation you could possibly have given him. And I assume he's gonna take a whole bunch of hits, and m much like the the giant robot before, it's gonna be a matter of the boss isn't actually that hard. He just has an insane amount of health, and we keep getting distracted because he has a bunch of minions that we gotta we gotta deal with. And I didn't even get a chance to damage him at all because he's already back in back in really poly oldy mode. Uh, well, that that's not nice. That that's really not nice, actually. Um. I guess we'll use this. It's really not doing much to him, though. Yeah, we don't have ammo. We we actually have no ammo. Or, or almost no ammo. Not looking forward to... Okay, I gotta get the... I gotta get there before he does. Whatever ammo this is, I would like it. I'll take whatever it is. It's not what I was looking for, but... Beggars can't be choosers, kind of thing. Also, I should probably take this time to adjust my quick select because we don't need any of any of this stuff. We need weapons and we need them now. We need uh, choppers. Good. I forgot we had the chopper. Tesla claw could be good. Yeah, I guess we'll see how that goes. Of course, he has to make himself available to be killed first, which doesn't seem like that happens all that often. Don't roll again. Okay, good. He, he didn't roll again. He didn't roll again. That's that's good. Um, lava gun. Just pee on everybody. Preferably on him too. No, we're not gonna pee on. We're not gonna pee on him. Peeing on him is not gonna happen. But we can try to chopper him. Chopper. Use the chopper. It's locked onto him exclusively. Just mash and load every single one of these I have into him. Well, I guess that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I need to kill all his minions. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna focus on all his minions. Here, let the turrets do the work for me. Let the turrets do the work for me, so I can focus on killing him. Spam the shots. Spam the shots. And I'm just gonna keep running out of ammo for, for all of my everything. Unless, oh wait. Oh wait a minute, there's a refill, oh. There's a, oh, there's a refill station there. Oh, that would make sense. There's a refill station there that I can go back to anytime I want. In that case, uh, give me a second. Or, or that will happen. Okay, cool. Wait, can I damage him here? Oh, no, oh, never mind. Oh, I thought I couldn't damage him while- Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I couldn't- it, it, the, the, I thought- I thought that it was like the shield made it so that he couldn't be hurt by any of my attacks. But I guess that's not the case. Okay, in that case, this isn't gonna be that bad. I thought it was a thing where you could only hurt him when he wasn't rolling around, but no, you, you can very much still hurt- Okay, never mind, this is- this isn't gonna be as painful as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was gonna be the one that takes forever like the robot thing. Anyway, back to the cork fight. What is- I- I'm still- I'm still not over that- that goddamn twist. Can I- can I just- can I- can I- can, camera, can you work with me here? Where is it? Where- it's right above- the camera really is not- C camera, can you- Oh, never mind. Never mind, actually. It is not possible to go back there. Oh, so I guess I'm just fucked then, because I don't have ammo for- Well, anyway, what a lame fucking twist. They, they figure out it's Quark, and then he's like, Ha, huh, I'm gonna kill you all, or I'm gonna frame you all in revenge. And then he just instantly fucks it up. What a phenomenal twist villain that totally recontextualizes and redefines everything. Has, like, how- Whatever. And also what a lame final fight this is. The first one had such such personal st and obviously it's hard to rival the first game's finale when it had such personal full circle stakes of going back to where it all began and the ticking timer that you that was a huge component of the finale to make sure that Ratchet's plan didn't get blown up. But like Drek was a villain who I cared about. He had personality. 
This game has this, the quirk twist, and then you don't even fight him. You fight giant monster man thing. I am not impressed by this turn of events. Like, it kind of feels like a decision that was made late in, in development. They're like, hmm, what can we do to spice our story up? I know, let's have it be Quark. People liked him from the first game, right? We gotta bring back Quark. It's like, oh. But did you think about how that might impact the story? It's like, no. It's Quark. Do people like Quark? Don't you like Quark? Quark, Quark, Quark's good. I like Quark. Oh, what is he doing? Okay. Oh, what? Oh, all right. Sure. Oh, what do you mean you have... Oh, great. He has soldiers now. Cool. My favorite. He has the soldier dudes. All right, bring out more of these. Just run. Try to keep all my attacks focused on him. Well, I'm out of my heavy lancer. I'm out of my seeker gun. This is piss. Literally. I'm out of mini rockets. I guess I can use the chopper. So let me let me deploy my two turrets in the hopes of sort of fending off the wave of those guys because if I, I, I in order to fire this I have to not move I guess I can kind of exploit it by firing midair I still get the full effects of it if I'm if I'm in midair hey would it kill you to also drop some health some health down here in, in addition to the the ammo I think I'd greatly appreciate it if you could also drop me some health I just actually don't have the weapons to deal with this I guess I'll try the bomb glove Bomb glove has sort of done me well in the past. Oh, you again. Just take some bombs. I'll, I'll, I'll chuck, at, chuck them at him from behind. And I got I got more of these I can use so I can at least keep... Try to keep him off my back somewhat. Okay, what's he doing? He's going back into rolling mode. The good thing about rolling mode is that it kills his own troops for me. So it kind of resets the board somewhat. The chopper really isn't really doing, doing me any wonders right now because it requires me to stop moving entirely. And I don't know that the damage it does is worth the lack of mobility that it forces me to have. I really don't think it is. And I'm pretty sure if anything else hits me, I'm dead. Which is not great when he isn't even at- he's barely below half health. And now I'm almost out of bombs. So that's great. I am indeed out of bombs. Can you go away? Leave me alone. Okay, now what? I guess use what's left of the chopper. Use what I can before I have to run away. And then he spawns more of those guys out of his ass. Why? What's this for? Better be something good. It's better than nothing. Turrets are indeed better than nothing. Let's put him down. Unless he... Okay, it looks like he can't flatten my turrets. That's good. He cannot... No matter how hard he tries, he cannot flatten my turrets. And now we're out of ammo for the chopper. Alright, what else we got? Tesla Claw? Tesla Claw is good. The Visibomb is worthless because I, I don't have- I have no way I have the time to actually get that. And I guess we can use the Piss Cannon. Not like I have, not like I have any other better options right now. Let's use the piss cannon. Wait, actually... I do have the gravity bomb. I forgot this thing existed because I de kind of declared it as useless once I got the... the bomb glove back. But... I guess we can do this. I mean, we don't- again, it's... Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, let's put down the decoy glove in case- th in case that does literally anything. And then we'll test the claw you. Okay, it's kind of doing steady damage. And now, okay, we're going down to another level. That's nice. Can there be health down here? Can there be health on any of the- Oh good, there's ships now? Oh good, there's- Really? There's tanks now- <sighs> So their current plan of attack is to use all the terrible weapons in the first phase when I don't have a million other enemies trying to- Because there's no way to refill ammo. They give you- they give you pity ammo for what will probably end up being your worst weapons, honestly. That it's not it's it's not a consistent thing I can rely on for more ammunition because it doesn't it's not like, hey, I need secret gun ammo. Can you give me secret gun ammo? No, I can't actually. I'm gonna give you chopper ammo. And then if you're lucky, maybe I'll give you heavy lancer ammo. But you certainly aren't gonna get the things you actually want out of this. That's not happening. So we're using the chopper, which forces me to stop moving early so that I don't have to, you know. Because when there's other enemies in the field, I'm going to have to move. There's, there's no getting around that. I, I absolutely am going to have to move to get around this. And then once I exhaust the chopper, I use up my two my two bombs. The gravity bomb and the and the, the bomb glove. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. And then when he, when, he, when he launches these guys at me, I just use the synthesoid to keep them off my back while I continue to bombard, bombard the big boss man. With uh, with the bombs, and then if they get too close to me, I just turn around because it seems like the which ones they focus on is determined determined entirely by what direction you're facing. 
And if they're if it, I'm in a position to do so, then I can just whack them like this. And then he's going full rolly mode again. Wait, if I hide in here, can they hit me? Wow, they, they actually can't hit me if I hide in there. If I hide inside his hitbox, the missiles actually just cannot hit me. Is he gonna do it again? He sure is. Guess what I'm gonna do again? This. Because they can't do any- they, they, don't, they don't know what to do when I hide inside him like this. So actually, maybe that's the way to cheese this. So that I don't have to use any ammo for anything. Just don't pick up the ammo that it drops off. Let him gobble it up, which then forces the missile attack. And then, from that point on, I just hide in him and then melee him to death. That might be the way through that first phase. And maybe even this phase. Is he, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do the... Nope, he's gonna do something else this time. Just don't, just throw a bunch of bombs at me, I guess. Okay, well we said we were gonna use a secret gun for this level. And then we were gonna save the, um... We were gonna save the mini turret for the bottom level to use against the tanks. So let's do it. Let's go full on secret gun mode. Secret gun, it is your time to shine. Your time to shine, secret gun. Hit him with everything you got. Okay, that's good. Now it's down to mini rocket tube. Now the question is, do we play it safe and use it against the, the tanks or do we just unload everything we have against him? I'm kind of feeling like we just unload everything we have against him, honestly. I'm feeling like we use everything we have against him, which may not be the best plan. Although, okay, well, never mind, it's, it's better than I thought. It's better than I thought it was. I just need to not get hit by any of those because I'm pretty sure those will insta kill me if I get hit by any of them. And then for my final trick, I'll use the... Actually, first let me throw it in all my turrets. Oh wait, are there no enemies? Oh. Oh, it's just the tanks? Oh. I, th I thought it was going to be enemies and the tanks. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, in that case, yeah. I, th this is... Alright. I think I might have overhyped how, how bad this final level was going to be. And Heavy Lancer to finish him off. It's done. Yeah. The trick there is just... Save all the cr use all the crap weapons immediately and save the good weapons for the, the end. Did it! Ah! Ah! It's okay. This is the real Mr. Fizz Widget. Quark had him tied up in a supply closet all this time. Gentlemen, you have my most profound gratitude. It was nothing, sir. I'm just sorry we couldn't get the helixomorph back. <laughs> Right. What do you suppose is wrong with it? Uh, I don't know. It could take months of research and... The battery is in backwards. Oops. Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh-oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. That's the ending? Man! This game's story... I don't want to say it sucks. But it's... <sighs> So game one, you have like this really interesting character dynamic between Ratchet and Clank. Them always butting heads with each other, going back and forth on what's what's the right thing to do. Very starkly conflicting personalities makes a really interesting dialogue, really interesting situations. And it's not like the most Im immaculately told story of all time, but it's it's solid. It's good. The characters are really strong. And the plot, like it has, it's 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 a clever plot. It's not an ingenious plot, but you know it's. It's a clever story. It had something to say about the the prospect of capitalism and all everything in regards to the the economy of the game is tied directly to that that over the under overarching message. Drek's plan was good. It, it, it was and it was it had personal stakes. Coming back to the end to fight on Ratchet's homeworld. So, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> So, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? 
You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby cleans you something they fierce. They kept him around? I just got done testing the full body vaccinator. Eh? I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls. Eh? Yeah, I know that you, like, kind of almost destroyed everything and also tried to frame Ratchet and Clank, but... Sure. Come work for us, I guess. That's cool. Okay. How- that- <sighs> That- that- He doesn't seem like someone you'd want to have around. After everything he did. But it, it's all fine. It, it's all right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the story was like it wasn't even. <sighs> I don't care or about or like Angela at all. I, I don't. The whole thing of her being on our side the whole time. After the whole after being the super badass warrior twist. It it just reminds me of freaking Lego Movie Two. That's all I can think of when when that when I see that. Yeah, and I just- I didn't feel the same personal stakes of the personal drive. I mean, Ratchet and Clank still had their character moments, of course, but there was nothing to write home about compared to the first game. Which is a shame, because, like, every other aspect of the game is really, really good and way better than the first game. This- this was a lot more fun to play. This was more in keeping with what I- with what I expect- what I have come to understand in regards to the modern- the modern Ratchet and Clank engine of, you know, your health upgrading automatically as you as your as your uh, your stuff as, as you level up. That's something I'm I've, I'm more used to. I like the expansion on the gameplay mechanics of you had the the electrolyzer puzzle as opposed to trespasser puzzle, and you had the dynamo stuff. You know, on the thermo the, the 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 thermometer gun that you could use to raise and lower water and freeze water. That was cool. Like a lot of cool additions there. The glider, I mean, they, they also- is and Nice and tight now! So you tested this, right? Oh, wait! That's why I'm here! <laughs> oh, one more thing! Okay, that's- that's... more... Okay, that, that's a little better. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, he's just working at Megacorp now. All's well, I suppose. It's it, mit it mitigates it a little bit that seeing that he is like being actively tortured by them that makes more sense. I still say you I I still don't know if it's the best idea to keep him around after everything he did. Like he he didn't seem like he was all that restrained in that first cutscene. I don't know. Me personally, I would just boot him out and say fuck you. I I don't I did that weird choice. You have the choice to go back in time before you defeat a quark or play a new game in challenge mode. Challenge mode is a good way to earn tons of bolts by playing tougher versions of the game. You can keep all your weapons and you upgrade them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh where's the choice that says go back to the main menu? I want to go back to the main menu. Quit game. Yes. Yeah, so um the gameplay was better. Level variety. I feel like I'm. I, I'm. I'm probably still more partial to the level variety of the first game. Although maybe that's just that's just because I'm biased towards those levels because I that was like the first game, the first set of levels in the Ratchet and Clank series that I grew up with, in being in the form of the remake. But still, even just down to the minor quality of life things like not having to manually tick up the amount of ammo you needed to buy for when you went to go refill your ammo in the sore. Just little things like that. Big things for gameplay, like the, the way in which your health upgrades and the weapon wheel actually pausing the game so that you, you instead of having to do it mid-combat. Just overall, it's, a, it's, it's, it's the first game again, but better and smoother, but with a worse story, which is really unfortunate because the first game's story was really solid and I liked it a lot. But yeah, that's it for now. That is the end of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this game in comparison to the first one in totality. I would still ha uh, see the tricky part is how would I rank it compared to the first game? I think this is a better made game 
but I probably still look back in the first game more fondly because of its story, which is a weird feeling to have. I don't know. I don't know. I I guess I, it's still I still probably I'd still if I'm being honest with myself, I would probably still put this above the first game, even if I was less emotionally connected to this one than the first game. I'd be lying to myself if I said that this wasn't better made overall. Yeah, those are my thoughts on Ratchet. Clank. Not not as much to say this time, I guess, because I didn't have didn't have much to compare to. Whereas the first game, there was a lot to say, knowing knowing how that game was butchered in the remake and comparing that. Whereas this time, it's just just focusing on the game itself, and I don't I don't really have much to say about this that I didn't have to say about the first game outside of the things they changed that I liked that I covered. Other than that, I don't like that for a good chunk of the first half of the game, we weren't Ratchet and Clank weren't together. And it was just kind of a, they were on their own, doing their own thing. And it took a while for them to really reunite. Nah, nah. It's, it's alright. That'll be for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. And hope to catch you all soon for whatever it is you decide to watch next. Goodbye.